Thor here, and today I want to talk about spider cracks, or spider cracks. A spider. Yes, I like to say it like that. So here we are towards the stern of my vessel, and we're looking at these little guys right here. Kind of hard to see. I only got a three inch viewfinder on my camera, so maybe they're showing up, maybe they're not. But these little cracks right here, you can kind of see them underneath my fingers here. These little cracks are called spider cracks. And actually, I have some more of these, so we'll go ahead and go up towards the bow and take a look, see? And there's some more spider cracks right there. Don't know if those will show up. And then I believe... Thor here. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about spider cracks. Basically, what are they? Are they a big deal? Should you fix them? And what is the difference between a spider crack and a stress crack? Because there are there, there is a pretty big difference, and I, and I will show that and give you some examples. I don't have any stress cracks on my boat, so I would use my boat for an example if I had any. I just, I just don't have any. If I had any, I would have repaired them by now. So getting into spider cracks, as you can see in this video here, uh, they're very shallow cracks. They look like hairline cracks. I mean, you, you can barely tell that they're there. You kind of have to look to see them. And I would say that most spider cracks will pass a 10 foot rule, meaning if you're 10 feet away from them, you really can't see them. Now, giving reference to my boat, um, you can see some of the reasons why there's spider cracks on my boat. So for one, spider cracks happen when the fiberglass on the inside of the boat um, it flexes and as it flexes <clears throat> however it flexes it bows in bows out flexes it, it causes a crack in the gel coat and so the gel coat will crack but the actual fiberglass underneath is totally fine and it's not damaged at all generally places you see spider cracks are going to be around fittings you're gonna find them around uh, cleats a lot of time cleats um, that those are generally places where you find spider cracks now in regards to if you should worry about them, repair them or not, unless your boat's really special, you don't need to repair them. There's just no point. The, the spider cracks themselves aren't structural, they're not going to hurt anything, and generally speaking, unless your boat's something special, they won't even really affect value, especially if you have an older boat. And I should specify that if you have a brand new boat and it's popping up with spider cracks all over the place, you, you might need to get it fixed. But if you've just got an older boat and you, you found a few spider cracks on it, no worries, there's nothing to worry about. You can fix them. I'm not going to show how to fix them. However, uh, I'll post a link to a video that will, um, I'll put a link to a video that will show how to, how to fix spider cracks. And they are very hard to fix. And the other problem with fixing spider cracks is a lot of times they come back. So it's not just a simple matter of getting rid of them and they're gone for good. Generally speaking, once they're there, they're there to stay you have to do a lot of work to fix them. Now, I do want to talk about the difference of a spider crack and a stress crack. So in this photo here, you'll notice that there's a huge crack that goes down to whatever that fitting is. And on the sides of it, you'll actually see spider cracks. Those kind of spider cracks might be structural, they might not. You can see they're pretty thick spider cracks. And then that one in the middle is definitely a stress crack. There is no question about that. In the next photo I want to show you, uh, this is definitely a great example of a stress crack and you'll see stress cracks like this often at 90 degree angles on fiberglass. So in this stress crack you can see it, it, it looks like a, a piece of lightning, it goes straight down. Um, that is a great example of a stress crack. In this photo you can see that there's a lot of small spider cracks surrounding a stress crack. So given reference you can definitely tell that something must have happened to this boat to cause it to crack this way and that is definitely structural and that definitely needs to be repaired unless it's somewhere really non-vital in the boat but it, it more than likely happened because if, if you look at this photo you can see that there's a 90 degree angle right there where there's a cutout and that 90 degree angle from that cutout probably caused a weakness in the structure which caused it to have a stress crack oh this picture is really bad I'm not even sure what this is, but uh, in this photo you can see that that is a really bad stress crack. That might even be some level of delamination, meaning that the gel coat is actually coming off. Um, 
that might actually be a tear or, or an actual puncture, a hole. That's a pretty bad one, but that's definitely a stress crack. And you can see that there's spider cracks that go to the stress crack. Again, those spider cracks aren't structural, but where that stress crack is, is. And when you see a stress crack next to spider cracks, it is possible for those spider cracks to also be structural. This is, this is probably one of the worst stress cracks I've ever seen. This is a, a keel on a boat, it looks like, or maybe it's a rudder, uh, a rudder post. This, no, it's definitely a keel. This, this boat, um, that, that is almost torn off. It's so bad. You can see holes in it. You can definitely see that. And that's a stress crack. So to reiterate, you see on my boat here in this video, these are just small cracks. They're in the, the gel coat itself. They're just not worth fixing for most boats. And honestly, just chalk it up to patina and age and character. There are a few other reasons that gel coat uh, cracks happen, I should have mentioned. Um, for one, as gel coat ages, it becomes more brittle and it reaches a certain point where it won't get any more brittle. It is fully dried out. It, it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's brittle as it will possibly get. But once it gets to that point, sometimes uh, you'll get some spider cracks from that. Uh, weather. Some people speculate that weather can cause spider cracks. And what I mean by that is uh, heating up the gel coat and cooling it down constantly over a long period of time. And the hypothesis for this is because you have darker colors that get hotter and colder and darker colored boats are more prone to spider crack than uh, basically lighter colored boats and so that's a another source for a lot of spider cracks so i hope this video was helpful to someone out there just realize spider cracks really aren't a big deal uh, for reference, I really am trying to grow my subscriber base, so if you could please subscribe to my videos, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, without taking up any much more of your time, this is Thor, signing out. Spider.